Okay, so in this video, we will focus on the quantity discount. Um, this is part of the OQ model and part of the inventory management center. Hi guys, this is uh, George Atenta from Dream Shadow TV and this is a continuation of the webinar on inventory management. So if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe to this. Uh, we come up with daily videos about trading, investment, um, operations management, digital marketing, and uh, everything about business. Okay, so if you also have not seen the previous videos, maybe you can look for it, look for them, actually, uh, so that you'll have a better understanding. But uh, if you just want to focus on um, quantity discounts, then go right ahead. Yeah, so this is uh, using the POMQM quantity discount EOQ model so when you open your QM for Windows immediately go to the quantity discount um, uh, I have one saved file so uh, let's save it Nine of number of price ranges it's important that you um, fill this out at the beginning so uh, it depends really on the supplier how many price ranges the supplier has so let's start with just four so that just to show you how it's done so here we have the demand rate this is uh, computed annually so the previous example that we have is the laptop example and we have 12,000 as the demand rate no need to fill this uh, fill out this uh, spaces with excess setup ordering cost is again tied up to how much is the cost every time you order or every time you set up uh, either the ordering or the production in this case the ordering so let's just put it at uh, 20,000 so this means that every time you order there's an additional cost of 20,000 whatever that is of course this is a given and it depends really on you know your company holding and carrying costs we place it at 15% last time so let's just stay with that and now uh, below you have the price ranges so the price ranges um, remember that uh, the usual um, price that we have is 25,000 so let's just say that that price range is good from 1 to about let's say 3,000 okay so if, if you order up to 3,000 units then the price of your laptop is 25,000 now from 3,001 to about let's say six thousand the price drops to twenty two thousand so there's a sharp discount yeah. yes so from six thousand one to about uh, let's say uh, fifteen thousand let's say yeah fifteen thousand the price becomes twenty thousand five hundred and from 15,000 above, it's the floor is about 18,500. Okay, so remember that this changes uh, depending on the supplier. Okay, so all you need to do is just click sold, and it will already give you the scenarios. So we have here from 1 to 3,000 to 6,000 and on. Now, it says here that the optimal order quantity is 15,001. Um, the maximum order is 15,001. Average, average uh, inventory is 75 orders per year. Just one time because it's 0.8. Annual setup cost is 59 and the annual holding cost is 20,000. The unit cost will be 222, 222 million for all the uh, laptops that we have. Total cost including <coughs> including uh, units is 242 million. So in order to understand that, let's look at the solution uh, and look at the cost code. <coughs> okay, so if you'll notice the cost drops dramatically and According to the computation, this is the optimum order, which is 15,000. Because after that, naturally it goes up. So this is the 
the best uh, order setup at 50,000. But remember, our our demand rate per year is only 12,000. So in this case, um, maybe you can decide to go beyond beyond that, so to 15,000, so that you have excess uh, inventory. You have to discuss that. Is it worth having additional 3,000 for this year? The good thing about this is, of course, you will just order once every year. And considering the price ranges here, this might be wrong, but of course, this is just a uh, thought of by us. Uh, yeah, so the good thing about this is that uh, you will you'll be able to understand where to order and how much to order properly. Yeah. So, for example, your your annual uh, annual demand is only about eight thousand or something. So it it is about you know at this point. So probably it would be good to order at six thousand, uh, or or maybe just eight thousand, just one time, because that's already your uh, cost. If you go to 15,000, that's too much maybe. But you have to also factor the the fact that uh, if you have a lot of inventory, of course, it stays in your in your uh, uh, warehouse. We factor that using the 15% uh, holding cost. But there are other factors, of course. Uh, so you have to decide on that. And secondly, you also have to consider on the benefit side, that if you order at 15,000 and sell at 30, that's already double. Yeah. Because uh, remember, you have your um, uh, price, the price of your goods already marked up. At 25,000, you're already earning. Now you go to to uh, you know the, the data here. You go to 22,000, you go to 20,500, and you go the sharpest that discount is at 18,500. So if you are are buying at 18,500 and selling it at 35, so that's just a uh, heyday in profit margins, right? So that's it. Um, you can just play around with this to find out the uh, scenarios. Uh, so every time the supplier uh, increases its its price or changes this uh, discount you can can have a better idea of your order quantity yes yeah, so that's it thank you see you in the next video thank you very much for watching bye